I'm gonna try to make the entire world say Panoi Pride by the end of this, or at least a couple extra colonies we can build up. Now, starting as the Philippines, we have the world's 34th GDP, but we do, however, have a lot of population. We're 13th in the world. We definitely have to get our troop number up. We technically have a lot of, like, dudes with guns, but we need more tanks and rocket people. However you want to describe that. Rocket people is the official term, right? We got a long way to go to catch up to Germany, China, or America, but I'd like to at least crack the top 10, because technically in the ranking, we're a little further down there. I'm gonna build up my military, see what happens, see what the AI gives to me, and like, you know, what AI has no more population left. <sighs> Another game where I have to worry about China. China's gonna be a big concern of mine. Let's start doing some military research to, uh, well, basically reduce the cost of doing more research. I don't mess around with that stuff enough. I think that's why I get killed sometimes, like last time against China. I'm actually gonna chill with the commandos. I like the amount of commandos that we have. I'll definitely get more gunners immediately. Also want more tanks, like a lot more tanks. A thousand more? Freak it, we're gonna get three thousand tanks. Let's do it. And then maybe I'll wait for this to build back up because this is probably not enough rocket artillery. Rocket artillery is good against heavily armored uh, positions. But then again, our strategy mostly is just to take over stuff that already doesn't have an army. Oh, speaking of which, I know Papua New Guinea does not start off with an army, yes. Oh, wait, they do. Wait, I thought they didn't. Maybe they always lose it at some point or they lose it fast. Maybe is it East Timor? Yes, it's East Timor. But I don't think there's much of a reason of going to, going to war with some of these really small places. Like, we should leave them alone. I think we need to be more strategic because we piss off the world because I go to war so much and then there's coalitions that start and we, we need to be more careful. First of all, as the Philippines, and this is pretty realistic from what I hear, is like geopolitically, most people like us. Well, maybe not China because of the South China Sea, but like the Philippines just wants to be everyone's friend. They're like the capybara of the world. They're just nice. They're just chilling. Who does the Philippines make angry, honestly? I'd like to build up my military spending a bit more at the very least, or maybe we boost that up to like a 55%. Let's do that. Right now, my best friend is Vietnam, and then a couple of African nations, also strangely Austria. North Cyprus doesn't like me, uh, Burkina Faso, randomly Russia. Now, the thing that always gets me is I see a nation that looks really weak, and I just can't help myself but invade. Oh, like, look at Afghanistan. They literally just have a thousand tanks. Obviously, Iran is going to win this war if they're the crazy ones. I noticed something I really like about this game, Dummy Nation, is, like, it seems kind of random in terms of, like, which AI is extremely aggressive. I kind of love that, because it makes the game so different every time. So maybe we're gonna have a Persian Empire here where like Iran declares war on everything, but then again the people that go to war early on start like huge coalitions against themselves and they die pretty fast. Just gotta keep- oh yeah look Papua New Guinea already has no troops. Do they just delete their troops accidentally? The thing is, is there really a point to going to war with Papua New Guinea? Like economically they're not gonna be providing that much to our empire if anything. I mean Australia's got some nice points to take. So does of course Singapore. That's definitely one that you want to go after. Singapore's got a very nice amount of troops though. So Peninsula is very nice because there's so much uh, sea traffic that goes by here. It's already a couple wars starting up. Oh, we already have a war for the Korean Peninsula. Now, typically in this game, South Korea completely obliterates North Korea, but we'll see this time. China's going after Brunei already. Did they literally already take it? I don't think we're ready quite yet. Do I have my military troops out? I did get them out. Let's get uh, let's get more rocket artillery. I mean, that's one thing to defend ourselves against China. Like, we do need a pretty sizable force to make sure that they know not to mess with us. So, yeah, I now have 3.5 five tanks, th thousand tanks. I think that does make us look a little bit more threatening to China. If we're lucky, India and China will get into a war and just grind each other down soon. China already going after a lot of smaller places, but they can kind of do that without having to worry too much. Oh, interesting, there is a war already in the Korean Peninsula, but nothing's happening just yet. We, of course, have the Balkans going at it. Serbia usually has a coalition started against them very early on, and we really can't recruit much more than this. I mean, we pretty much have already maxed out here as the Philippines, or we're just gonna have to wait a really long long time, but this is the army we're gonna have to do. Can I attack Antarctica down here? That would be cool. Would they provide to me anything economically? No. Literally nothing. Surprise, surprise. We have an aggressive Turkey already, and it's they're going after Iran, interestingly. Please take out Iran. That would be cool. China's definitely gonna take Papua New Guinea, and they're gonna do it without anyone. I mean, maybe if there's a coalition that starts up, man, oh, China's already got 1.4 million recruits. Unless, like, Japan and South Korea, which I don't know why they're not fighting each other, but unless both of them do something. North Korea is getting grinded down, I will say that. I don't know if I want to come up here all the way. Wait a second. Yes, Japan is at war with both North Korea and Russia. South Korea is just at war with North Korea. We do need to watch this, because if Japan loses everything, we want that. Japan is an extremely rich nation. More than likely, Russia is not going to be able to do it, unless they send everything. But then again, Japan has a pretty sizable military. Let's just definitely keep an eye on that. As always, Switzerland's going to fall pretty fast. Oh, good, good. There are people fighting over here. Is, is it Indonesia that's at war? Oh, these are Papua New 
Guinea uh, rebels that are popping up. Now they're going after Laos next. Laos is a landlocked country. I can't do anything about that. Come on, Vietnam. I know you don't like China. I need you to do a little bit of something for me. Think about Russia falling. That doesn't really help us much. Like, yeah, we can get the Siberian wilderness, but what are we going to do with that as the Philippines here, really? We have Spain going down after Morocco, igniting some old historical rivalries. Italy got all of the Switzerland territory. I would not mind taking Madagascar, but Madagascar is already being taken by uh, Singapore. Do I want to try to get some of that, maybe? I'm going to send out half the troops there. Singapore has declared war on Madagascar, technically. There's not much we can get out of this, but I would like the jumping off point to Africa so we can start colonizing a little bit of the uh, west east coast here. Yeah, we have Russia and China. China going after a lot of Africa. This is a very, very aggressive AI China here. Man, they took out Cambodia instantly. Now Vietnam lives in a Chinese island, basically. They're surrounded by Chinese territory. That's not good for them. Jesus is an aggressive China. They are declaring so many wars right now. Wow, the entire world hates them. Russia's only at war with like four nations, Estonia included. I have actually made it to Madagascar. Let's get some of this stuff. Let's just, I don't know, eat as much as possible. Funny enough, Singapore actually left. I hope this is enough. This is a hundred. Oh, I, I, did I take all my troops? I think I split them perfectly in half. Oh, oh, I left the recruits, the commandos back at home. Okay, well, at least we're diversified over here. Okay, why, why are you losing this? Why are you not killing these rebels? Oh, okay. Madagascar is putting up a little bit more of a fight than I expected. We don't want to lose that much, obviously, here, or else China's going to start getting some crazy ideas. Okay, now we have China. They, okay, we're going to shoot share this stuff. I'm going to get nice and quickly. Let's eat this stuff. As long as I got both the east and west coast of Madagascar, that's what I really care about. Taking out the final few. Okay, so that's fine. Madagascar can be an extremely divided islands. We we now have half of it. Is there anybody? Okay, so I think, is is that technically, are they at war technically? Jeez, China's now going after Afghanistan and Central Asia. Can I recruit more men that, uh, yes. I'm going to get 78,000 gunners. We'll recruit everything because we have to recruit back at home. I think it's a good idea to keep this unit just back here in Africa just to be able to jump at stuff. South Africa and Mozambique are going at it. Also, the United States is attacking Tanzania. We need to make sure that we still get on continental Africa, just in case. A global recession takes hold. What does that mean? Botswana has nothing. I don't think I can steal this away from- yeah, Tanzania is definitely going to the U.S. China at war. China is definitely at war with India. Are you sure about that? That- this is gonna be interesting. Wow, you're at war with, like, all your neighbors in the south. Please, please kill China. Actually, look at those troops. They are falling. They're just being really aggressive. Okay, so my 78,000 uh, gunners have now been built 50 tanks. Is this even worth it to get 50 out, 50 tanks out? I mean, I guess I'll try it. Luckily, we do build it pretty fast, but okay, well, there's something at home. There's something at least at home to protect us. Is Australia just going to refrain from doing anything in this game? That's definitely a possibility. Malaysia's got some good economic development, but I would need China probably to go after them to even have a chance. Iran is doing a bit better, but there's nobody that looks too juicy for me to eat up. I don't know why whenever I play this game, I always resort to using the word juicy. Like something about GDP, economic development, and juicy just go hand in hand together. Wow, Russia's down to only a quarter of a million troops. Still no progress in the Korean Peninsula, although North Korea doesn't look super strong. I don't want to have to be the ones to send my soldiers into that meat grinder, to be honest, because that's what it is. It would be a meat grinder. I like being able to increase my offensive capabilities to my infantry. Oh, is that Japan? Yes, Japan is down here attacking Thailand. Is there even? Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, they might be attacking Myanmar. Sorry. Oh, man, I'm not going to be able to get any of that, probably. I won't even be able to get there in time. And now now, uh, the US and Japan are sharing Sri Lanka. Japan still has a really strong amount of troops. Okay, I wish, honestly, these two nations are so strong with China, like, I wish one of them would die. I don't like having them both up here. Mozambique is looking maybe more eatable now. Africa doesn't despise me. I probably could attack Mozambique. Is that worth it, though? Of course, it's not worth it, but it does give me a jumping off point uh, to South Africa, and they have a pretty good amount of development down here. Oh, China's moving through my territory. I bet you that's to attack Mozambique. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Even if it's not to attack Mozambique, I'm just gonna Leroy Jenkins this. Yep, they are. They are. Wow, I called that. Let's get a little bit of this. Hopefully they help out and, okay, so we'll, I'll share Mozambique with Japan. That's fine. Especially because we're gonna get more of the territory here. Let me split up my troops to get this out a little bit faster because I think we've killed everybody. Alright, nice. Very nice. US is still handling Tanzania. Tanzania's got a lot more troops. Okay, so Mozambique has been eliminated. We do have access to, ooh, there's a bit more to work with now here. Um, 
Mawali. This would definitely probably start a coalition against me if I did this. And what would this really open up? Is this worth it? How much did I lose? Oh, we need way more commandos down here. I don't think I'm going to attack yet. I am going to get at least 30,000 to come down here. Or there's so much back at home, I could take a little bit. Let me make sure they're right. Okay, I don't want you to come. You stay. You come with me. Yeah, we're going to get 64,000 to come back this way. Do you want to see what the U.S. is going to do? The U.S. might try to jump at these guys next. Don't do it. Where are you going? Okay, they're leaving. When my infantry units get here, I'll probably... I guess I'll just roll the dice and go for it. What's Indonesia? Or that's Singapore. What are they doing? India still has a good amount of troops. China looks way less threatening because they've just been so aggressive starting off here. Oh, man. North Korea's got a big, some big alliances. Oh, that's what's keeping North... Oh, that's why South Korea's not in actually invading. Because the way the AI works, as soon as they step foot in the territory, that's when all the other AIs get triggered. South Korea would get obliterated if they try to walk into North Korea. This is going to be an interesting game with that. I'm going to go ahead and walk in at the risk of pissing off a lot of African nations. I think the U.S. is probably going to try to kill me for this. Or they, I mean, they might try to kill the nation that I'm going after. What are you doing exactly? You're freaking me out. It is possible for the U.S. to go to war with me this early. I don't know why they would do that. I should not even put that out into the universe. Okay, so far, people are actually still cool. You know, that's the cool thing about playing as the Philippines is that we start off in, like, good favor with the vast majority of the world. Like, no one hates us particularly. So we have a lot of options to technically go to war with people and not, you know, have coalitions start up against us. Okay, that was pretty simple. I still want more commandos out here. And what you doing? I'm gonna keep on recruiting here. We've got 20,000 more commandos on the way. How's Taiwan? Taiwan is, of course, at war with China, but China hasn't done anything yet. So getting that territory doesn't really open me up. It does open me to Tanzania, but do I want more heat from this part of Africa? Oh, here comes China too. I mean, I might just give it a shot. Zambia is the ones that might declare war on me. Zambia might declare war on me. That is not, that wouldn't be that fun. Don't exactly want to fight Zambia, but I kind of can't stop myself from t trying to take this. Wow, that's a hundred thousand. Are we sure? Yeah, you know what? They stopped. That's a hundred thousand rebels. Let's, let's chill for a second. Let's, let's just chill. I'm going to say no. Chill right there while we figure out what's going on. I'm going to wait until someone takes out those peasants so I don't have to take out those peasants. Now, the one good thing about going here is there's a little bit more economic development up this way, maybe in Kenya there. Oh, that's right. I forgot that I could technically go after Myanmar, but uh, yeah, I'm, we're not going to do that. South Korea colonizing down this way. Okay, so wait, they did take out those peasants. Stop. I'm going to try to get a little bit of this. I'm going to slow it down to see if I can split up my troops. Let's see if anyone declares war on me at the same time. Let's get all that. Let's get all that. Okay, good, good, good. Now I'm going to split the troops up and try to get stuff even faster before the U.S. and Chinese take everything because I would like to get up here. I'd like, this is like the race for like World War II Germany. They're trying to race to Berlin. I'm trying to get more territory. Oh, of course, we've got to fight the peasants. How big is that? Is Tanzania at war with us? Technically, I don't think they are. We might have got lucky. Oh, oh, oh. So there is one nation now at war. Oh, never mind, never mind. It's just China that's kind of getting mad. But yeah, my diplomatic relationship with a lot of Africa is not doing too well. Where are you going? No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Go this way. That's why you got to babysit the AI a little bit. There we go. There we go. We're doing great. We're doing great because we split up our troops and, and China did not. But unfortunately, China is not fighting rebels. I am. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. If we can touch Tanzania, I would like that. But then again, don't we have a shared border with the with the lake? We might have a shared... Can you go? Can you go in this direction, please? Yes, go that way. Come on, grab that. Grab that. Uh, I don't think it matters that we touch Kenya. Oh, but we did anyways. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we got the entire west coast of Tanzania without anyone declaring wars on us just yet. I think China might consider declaring war on us at some point here soon. So how much did we lose from that? I still probably need... We didn't lose that much, even though I did fight like a couple thousand rebels. Wow, how has no one declared war on us? Okay, this is nice to be the Philippines. I gotta admit, everyone loves us. Oh, now we have some recruits. Dude, our African colonies. I think this is because of our Afri African colonies, maybe. We might be able to have a new pool of population to pull from. Yeah, we're definitely getting... So there we go. Okay, I think that is it. That's gotta be the reason. Now, let's go. All right, well, maybe I should keep on going to war so I can keep <laughs> getting more Filipino soldiers out here. Our Filipino African soldiers, at least that is. Oh, nothing from Zimbabwe. Don't want to go to war with Zambia, though. That's for sure. Oh, there's nothing from here either. <sighs> Man, I, I'm definitely gonna have wars declared war on me if I go after it. So, Spain is the one that's going after the DRC. Population, there's definitely a lot of population out here. Even more so in these tiny countries, and they can't have much. I just need to choose my wars way more carefully because coalitions will start. Rwanda's got no troops, and neither does Burundi. And I'm the only nation that really has a chance to attack them. Uh, unfortunately, there is more economic development in these two spots, but I, that means I have to declare war in two nations instead 
instead of one. Do I want the heat to come down? Well, the, I don't know if the heat is necessarily going to lessen that much. Also, technically the condo like the con the Congo. They like me, not the condo. Did my recruits come out yet? No, the 64,000 troops did not come out. I'm going to take some of these guys here. Actually, a little bit less than that. I just kind of want 65,000, maybe something like that. I'm going to send these guys to the African front lines. This is a little bit more backup. Also, can we make more troops? The 64,000 still haven't come out just yet. I might as well get, well, can we build any more? Okay, uh, 200 more tanks. I'll take 200 more tanks. And I do not have pretty much any possibility. I mean, I guess I'll get 10 rocket artillery. That's something. Spain is down here attacking, but luckily Angola is kind of, uh, oh, Angola just lost. Okay, that was their peasants, basically. I might just wait for the troops to get down here. Oh, man, the U.S. is going to tear up all this stuff. I'm just more concerned about Zambia because they could cut us off. We could beat Zambia in a fight, I think. Why are you going that way? Well, whatever. United States has declared war on Liberia. That's a funny one. Taking back the old African colony, I see. Turkey's declared war on America. Ooh, there goes China after Mongolia. Technically, Japan is stronger than China if they wanted to, and so is India. Surprised their coalition hasn't launched some sort of invasion. Okay, I'm going to hit Rwanda first. I think they've got more stuff here for me, and I think this will probably have a coalition start against us in Africa. Yep, the Philippines. Well, let's see. Let's watch if any red pops up. And no. Well, I will take that then. Oh, there was something that read. Okay. Uh, no, never mind. Well, how much do we want to keep rolling the dice here? Because do we have to worry about Kenya? Kenya wouldn't be fun. Uganda wouldn't be too fun. If it's a big enough coalition that starts, it would not be good. I don't know, man. I think we might be able to. Uh, let's, let's just see. I'm going to walk in here and then see if I can just eat up a lot of these smaller places. Okay. There it goes against, against Burundi. Bammo. Okay. So, third time's a charm. The US is here. Is the U.S. at war technically with uh, the Congo? No, they're not. They are not. I'm sure the colonial powers, the imperialists, are not big fans of me also being an imperialist. What you doing, America? What you doing? I don't like that. I don't like that you're losing my territory. I never gave you an open borders. Oh, the U.S. just declared war on China. Let's watch that. Let's definitely keep an eye out on that. We have the Pakistanis out here. Oh, Pakistan's fighting China and Afghanistan at the same time. Afghanistan's got no troops. The world could definitely beat China. Wow. Wow. Look at everyone that hates China. China. Jeez, they have been extremely aggressive, and I wonder if that's the reason why... Oh, you're attacking Kenya. Do I want Kenya? Um, I'm glad that you're dealing with that. Do I want Kenya? I don't know. I think I'd rather just take all the Congo. There's more territory out here for it, just by declaring war on one nation than Kenya. I'm assuming you're just moving, using my territory to move to get Kenya. I will allow you to get Kenya. Now, the Congo is going to definitely have a lot of rebels here. This won't be fun fighting through the Congo, but I think we're going to do it. Also, I don't like that the Americans have a lot of troops over here. They could very easily come after me if they want. Have I I recruited everybody yet. I have recruited a good amount of people. I'm gonna get some more commandos. Now I'm gonna have to wait for my gunners. Oh, is China now fighting Indonesia? Why would you do that? That's a terrible, terrible idea. Indonesia actually has some population and a good sized army. I'm so glad I have my uh, troops at home ready for this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go the Congo timidly, timidly. I don't even know. That's not a word. I don't, but whatever. We're gonna go and I'm gonna keep all my troops together. So there are already a couple thousand people from the Congo rebelling. This is okay. This is okay so far. I don't want to split these troops up because I know that if I split them up, they're going to get picked off easily. I don't know how strong these rebel forces are going to be inside there. Keep an eye on China. That's under 42,000. I still don't want to step into Chinese territory yet. But once I see the coalition start up, then maybe I will. Ah, uh, yeah. So the Americans are now fighting the Chinese in Africa. Uh, yeah. I'm going to keep this slow and steady. It wins the race because it's not like the Portuguese are down here. There's no reason to race. Oh, but Spain is. And I think Spain's at war. Okay, there is actually a race now. Okay, we're going to split up the troops and try to get there as fast as possible. I hope the Americans are busy fighting the Chinese. The Chinese only have 42,000 troops, and uh, th there's a large chunk of them still in Africa. Wasting time in Africa. I bet you the U.S. tries to come after the Congo. They probably don't like that I am doing all this over here, but I need to keep an eye out on this area. Boom. The Chinese now have almost no troops, and I have a good amount stationed back at home. But is this... Oh, man, it's just commandos, though. That's not the ideal amount of things. I need to build way more stuff back here. What is that. Oh, it's actually not that bad. I forgot to click and unite them. Do I want Chinese territory? What would I really want? I'd want Hong Kong. Hong Kong and Macau would be super nice right now economically. Yeah, that's, oh, that's some good stuff. Let me just check on the Congo. Now, the Chinese, I think I've seen them get back their military really fast. They probably could very quickly. Oh, are you at war? Oh, that's what the Americans, the Americans are not at war with the Congo. I'm just checking on who the Americans are at war with. Going out to war with China shouldn't piss off anyone because everyone's at war with China. They should actually kind of like it. It's a race between me and Spain. You know, I'd 
really like for this to be cleaned up before I go to war with China. This is actually a good thing if uh, the US take out Uganda, but they're not at war with Uganda yet. I'm glad that I'm not the only ones fighting these uh, Congolese rebels. Russia is now getting going to war with most of Europe at this point. If I could clean up, I just want this war to be done before I step into China. Oh man, China's already got the troops back up. You got to do a little bit more. Okay, we might not have the opportunity to attack China just yet. Maybe when China backstabs Russia, I think it's a good idea to just wait, just chill. These Americans that are in here, I really don't like that. I love this weird African colony thing that we're building up though. We will be bordering South Sudan who has a good amount of troops and uh, Uganda's not too threatening. I could go after Kenya easily and get that, but we'll see when the Americans want to take out Kenya. There's Zambia that I could attack, Zimbabwe which got nothing, Botswana that's got nothing. I would love South Africa. We need help against South Africa. Thank you Spain for helping me fight the rebels. I don't mind that Spain got, like we kind of split this up. That's cool. And it's going to be the US that takes out South Sudan. I wonder if we just have a free pass to attack whatever we want in Africa. Oh, Portugal's now like, hey, 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 wait a second. I didn't know the Congo were following or falling, I mean. So now they're over here. Okay, that is okay. Okay, I, I want a little bit of Kenya. South Sudan, that's probably it for them. So this is still looking really strong. Even though there has been rebels popping up, we haven't lost too many. Is that the Ethiopians down here? Again, everything so far with the world is somewhat okay. I mean, the Africans are starting to not like me, obviously. They should have hated me a long time ago, to be quite honest. Okay, so the Congo are done, and the Chinese are still not super powerful. We really haven't moved that far up in terms of the score because we haven't really taken out like a lot of really high producing GDP nations. Uh, we are in 29th though. I'll be honest, I kind of want Kenya and then I'll wrap around and hopefully get a little bit of South Sudan. Can we even get there in time though? Is this even worth it? Luckily, you guys are fighting most of the rebels for me. You guys are moving so slowly. Wow, this is painful to watch. Is this going to be worth it? Is this worth it or is the US going to steal all this stuff from me? Uh, I might get a little bit. At least if I could wrap around Uganda. Okay, well, at least we are also fighting at the same time. The Ethiopians, oh, the Ethiopians probably have a military too. Oh, I would love to border Ethiopia, which we probably can eventually do that. Luckily, it's me and the Americans. Oh yeah, I'm the Philippines. I'm a former colony of the U.S. We're working together. We are working together here bit by bit. We need to show up our, uh, our freaking dad here. <laughs> yeah, we need to go a little bit faster than this. You guys need to step it up a bit. Ethiopians keep slowing down the Americans, so I like that. Uh, when are you splitting up and actually going to split up here? There you go. There you go. There you go. Take that stuff a little bit faster. Have you killed? The Ethiopians are close to being chomped. This is such a weird empire. Our borders. One thing I like about this game, though, are the borders. The borders are so unique and the way they stretch across the map, it's really cool to look at. So we've got a really unique Filipino empire. Most of the U.S. is most, like the U.S. has fighted most of the Ooh, wait, is this us? Holy crap, we've got no commandos left. That's not good. Okay, 40, a quarter million coming right now and I'm gonna have to what is this? What, what is this that we built? Okay, yeah, you guys need to get over here, get your butts over here as soon as possible because I don't think we're gonna be able to take much more. I don't think we're gonna be able to go to war actually and win without uh, I'm pretty sure we get utterly obliterated without. I think the rocket dudes help you take things faster, but you're not gonna be able to fight very well. I'm gonna stick here and then probably go after South Sudan next. Ethiopia is very likely to attack me, but they're not a big threat. More worried about Uganda and again, Zambia, because they're untouched. They still haven't had any people declare war on them just yet. Kenya has been defeated. What does this army back at home need? I don't really know. You probably need more tanks, maybe more commandos. We actually don't need this 200. I'll, I'll do 75,000 and then do we have any possibility of getting some tanks. Any tanks? You want to give me more than 20, please? Whatever. Ooh, are the are the Japanese attacking Vietnam? No, but Vietnam is defending itself. Dang, China, you're crazy, China. Turkey's over here taking out, uh, wow, they're taking out Ukraine. I didn't think I'd ever see that. That's fine. I guess you can meet there, and then we're gonna go after South Sudan. Now, Sudan itself, not too powerful. I'm not super worried about them. Why aren't you moving? Move, sir. Yeah, go, just go meet there. That's fine. I don't know what the Americans are doing right now. I think the Americans kind of have their hands full with a couple different spots. Also, the British are attacking Central America. That's fine. Oh, crap. I just got yeeted. I just got mogged by America. Is it worth declaring this war? It's not worth it declaring war. It's not. Yeah, they're going to take it anyways. I'm not going to get anything from it. Dang it. They got to it first. Well, that isn't horrible. We have other options. I could try to declare a war on an army that actually, uh, or on a nation that actually has an army. Wait, there's a couple nations down here with nothing. I can just go after Zambia, possibly. The biggest threat to us is probably South Africa. Yeah, I think we're going to have to change courses here. Move down this way. Everything good, bad? 
back at home. It looks like everything's fine so far. No major powers have declared war on us as the Philippines. Uh, Somalia still has a good amount of troops, interestingly. Oh, there's a big old alliance. Oh, this is why none of these nations have been touched because they all have a solid Arab alliance going on. Which Actually, I think they always have done that. Uh, and then obviously there's NATO, basically. Americans still using our territory to move through. Oh, I would love to go after Nigeria. That's a big population hub. We can get a lot more recruits if we go after Nigeria. Brazil is over here. I didn't realize Brazil was over here. Okay, yep, we're going to just go ahead and keep on making moves because we got to keep fueling the Filipino empire. Philippines have declared war on Zambia. Now, South Africa stopped there. Zambia might start again. Cuba's declared war on China. Wow, communism versus communist nation. That sometimes happens at least with the Vietnamese and uh, and China. So that shouldn't be super surprising. But halfway across the world, they're clearly making a lot of people mad. Get out of here, China. Don't like you being anywhere near my territory. Is China and Russia at war? Oh my goodness, I think they are. Now we definitely need to keep an eye on that. Please don't declare war on me, anybody. Please. Is Mongolia at war with me? When did Mongolia? Why did they do that? What the hell? That's a weird one. Okay, I love playing as the Philippines. Just gonna say that right now. This has been awesome. I don't want to jinx it. But we are like, I've taken over so many nations and no one's declared war on me. They are totally chill with the Philippines. And part of it might be just I'm not really a threat. I'm still not even in the top 30, am I? Oh, I'm 25th in the world now. So maybe that's partly why I'm not a big threat to anybody. Okay, we gotta watch this. Uh, the Okay, the Chinese are back and they're really strong. I am going to, let's see, is this going to be enough? Whatever this is, that is not great. But I am going to send these guys up here just to literally sit in the water. Is this the, uh, the Japanese are here. What are you going to do? Wow, the Chinese are already back up to a million troops. Also, you are attacking Vietnam at the same time. You guys are crazy. They're definitely going to eliminate Vietnam. I don't know if I want to do this now. What is really over here? What is really over here for Russia? There's not a whole lot, to be honest. There's a lot more stuff going on in Vietnam. I'm talking population. Oh, that's right. And Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City. I might need to come down here. The problem is that we don't know if, okay, hold on, just stop. Stop right there, stop right there. All right, who's going to, is this all of Vietnam's troops, basically? Uh, it is, yes. It is all of Vietnam's troops. Are you going to leave the battle, though? Oh, yes. They are somewhat leaving. They might be trying to focus more on Russia. Vietnam still has a lot, so I think we might be going after Russia here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I literally have all these troops sitting here. I'm gonna go back and pick up these guys and see if we can't get, there we go, 300 tanks. I like that better. We have a force protecting our African colonies. Japan's making some moves. Is Japan going after, uh, Japan is, is Japan going after the Philippines? Crap. If they steal Ho Chi Minh City from me, that's gonna suck. Oh, people might be going after Japan, or China. Yes. I think the move is to attack China. Dang it, Taiwan took all that stuff. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and try to get that at least. Is that Macau? I'll settle for Macau. Taiwanese are going nuts. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of this. Unfortunately for this, for us, ooh, they ran away. They saw our troops and they ran away. There we go. Wait, is it, isn't that technically, didn't we technically just get Hong Kong even? Yeah, we got a pretty good chunk there. Oh, yeah, we're getting some monies. We are getting some monies here. Okay, do I want to pull back the army from Africa? It That might be worth it, honestly, because we all, we'll have way bigger problems to deal with if we lose Africa. Or, yeah, because that's going to be European powers more than likely that go after us in Africa. So I'm going to go here, see if I can't help take out China. Is Russia still attacking? No, because Russia's also struggling. We just want to take out China. Man, how big is Taiwan? Oh, Taiwan's about to run out, but the U.S. is also attacking, so the U.S. might help us out a lot here. There we go. Okay, where's the big centers. Where are the big centers? We're getting a lot of the big centers. Yeah, I mean the coast is the big stuff that they don't want to lose. There's going to be some massive rebellions that pop up. Well, that one's not too big. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do we want this island? I mean, I'll get the island. I don't care. I don't know if there's Chinese troops that are running away or what's happening. Yeah, we just, we ate you up. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, let's just build some basic units here, like 50,000 recruits there. We're going to get so rich if we take China. If we take China, we're going to get extremely rich. Go kill the those rebels. Or maybe not. Maybe don't do that. Uh, who else are, is over here? Okay, can we get some more? Oh, look, even the Mongolians are fighting. Wait a second, we're at war with the Mongolians. We might have to fight the Mongolians when we <laughs> meet them in the middle. Um, I don't want inland China. That's not where the money is. Show me the money. Oh, you know, we're still getting some monies. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I might go a little bit crazy here and split the troops up. Holy crap. Okay, maybe that's not a great idea. Wait. Oh, crap. That's okay. Yeah, I didn't know the AI was going to do that. Don't do that. Never mind. You stupid idiots. Okay, it's because China has territory from around the world. We don't want to do that. I definitely want one force going up here. Wow, they're getting extremely weak. What is back this way? That's 46,000 troops. Uh, I'll take 43,000, and I guess I'll just meet them up there before they die. That, yeah, this guy, this one is definitely struggling. We want this stuff. I think I'm just going to keep them all together, to be honest. Go this way. Let the Americans deal with, I mean, this is nothing. If the Americans want this part of China, which is not as developed as the coast, then uh, that's fine. They can take that. There we go. Now we have a nice, solid army 
all together again. I think that was a, the right idea. We probably just got to keep all this stuff together. The Americans are dealing with all that. So perfect. Nice. They're going to get a little bit of uh, development out there, but not much. Not as much as I'm about to take. Bam, right there. Okay, let's keep it going. Also, the uh, Japanese are now, North Korea doesn't have any more alliances. Oh, Russia's falling. Wow, Germany's going to be so rich. They're taking all the good stuff of Russia. Germany's going to probably jump into the second strongest nation. Here comes India now attacking, and India's got, okay, that's fine. We're getting the good stuff. What do I got back at home? Uh, I've got 42,000 troops. I will take 122,000 more. I should probably, might as well just keep going. 9K is not enough commandos for me. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Is this a military? Is this an, oh, those are just peasants. That's fine. We'll leave the peasants there. Maybe another person will deal with the peasants for us. We're gonna lose this coast, but it's too late. Nope, no, no, don't do that. Well, maybe we should do that. What's this peninsula like again? Uh, that's, yeah, there's some good stuff there. I think I'll go ahead and take this peninsula really quick just to let the other powers deal with some of the rebels because I don't think there's gonna be many rebels that pop up over here. There we go. I'll take all that. And we'll take all that too. And now we'll back on to this area. Oh, we're not going to get Beijing, are we? The Indians are going to steal that from us. Oof. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. I mean, I'll try to get up there. Oh, man, that's a lot the Indians just stole from us. But uh, whatever. I mean, we got a lot back. Oh, we're going to get a part of it. We're going to get a part of it. Yeah, go take that. Go take that, please. Oh, we're not India. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oops. I did not mean to just declare war in India. Oh, my goodness. How much do the uh, Indians have? Well, Maybe that wasn't the worst idea ever. Are these rebels or are these forces? Those are just Indian rebels. Let me get off. Let me get out of Indian territories. To, yeah, I, I don't actually want to be at war. It, it actually might be okay. We have a lot of troops back at home. We need uh, 500 tanks. I'll take that. And then we'll take all this. Japan will take Manchuria as they normally do. <laughs> World War II status. Wow, I cannot believe I accidentally misclicked and declared war on India. That's hilarious. And then we'll just move in here. How much is this? That's like 100,000 troops there. We're still doing pretty good. This is still a pretty sizable force. And... Uh, uh, yeah, China did not ever rebuild. Holy crap, that's a scary Germany. What is that Germany going to be like? Oh my goodness. Uh, Germany's only in fifth, but uh, give them some more time. Oh wow, I'm in third now. I jumped to third place. If I steal all of this away though, then I might jump ahead of them. I'm afraid to split the troops up, but we might need to do that just to get this faster. Don't move around. Crap, why did you do that? Well, I'm just going to let them do it. We're going to see what happens. I mean, China's got nothing and I don't know. Oh, they do have something, something. I'm going to lose a lot from this. Uh, Let's just definitely start building. Yeah, more troops back at home. Yeah, we're gonna take that and we're gonna take some of this and that's fine. Hopefully the Americans deal with whatever army the uh, Chinese actually have. We definitely got the better end of this deal right here. Okay, the Indians did not end up attacking us. Whoa, what is that? Is that a hundred thousand uh, Chinese troops moving through our territory for whatever reason? Maybe we should not have split them up then. I don't know, you know what we have left back here. That's not too bad. Let's go kill them. Okay, good. Whatever China had all over the place, those troops are starting to come back. Let's get all these troops back. I don't know where, you know, China might have stopped advancing slightly. They might be trying to fight somebody else. Or, oh wait, I think they just got stack wiped. And now China has no more colonies left. We just have to kill them before they just randomly spawn military. I don't know how they do that. They're so good. You don't see any other other nation do that. Who got this? Uh, that is the UK. They got Siberia. But wow, again, Germany, very strong. And they had Sweden. How did, how did Germany get Sweden? Go get that. Go get that. Again, there's not a whole lot of stuff here, but I will still take it. Oh, the Indians are trying to steal as much as possible. We might be getting, we might go into war slightly with India. Oh, India is actually not as strong as us. Oh, we're also at war with Mongolia. I got to keep that in mind. This is still not too bad. 100,000 troops back at home and some rocket dudes. I will never stop calling them that. I don't know why. All right, Bamo, look at that. We as the Philippines are doing pretty good. I never thought we would jump. We don't, we probably are not going to beat the Americans, but we are in second place. Oh, Canada's declared war on us. Uh-oh, probably going to be some more people that declare war on us. But wow, I did not expect to have this good of a game, especially starting off so low. Part of the reason though is because people were chill with the Philippines. I think a lot of Africa liked that I was going to war and taking them over. They wanted to be a part of the Filipino Empire, so I'll take it. And thank you to the patrons. You can go to the link in the description down below to patreon.com to support me. John, Queen Denver, Jack, Jack Craven's annoying I friend. can't sleep without Drew's voice. Inquisitors, Hedrick, Frederick, Dublin, Drew, it's your dad back with the milk. The beautiful Look Megan, Carmel S, Amateur Archaeology, Semi-Fear This, the I Mexican Love You, Luxembourg Lover, Tamron, and Zany Boy.